Tanzania is known all over the world for its natural beauty. The beaches of Zanzibar and Pemba, the wildlife of Serengeti, and of course, Africa's majestic mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro. But this film is going to focus on another treasure of Tanzania, a very special treasure that is unknown to most people. Dar es Salaam, the commercial capital of Tanzania, is home to most Tanzanian artists. Unable to survive as artists in the village, they come to the city looking for a better life. Some of our best artists are seen working on the busy street of Dar es Salaam. Others find a quiet space to work at home, in their living rooms or bedrooms. Very few have a studio of their own. Hi, my name is Teddy Kalonga. I live here in Kinondoni, a suburb of Dar es Salaam. Many young artists like myself are excited about these opportunities that we have today to express ourselves through music, theater, dance and fine art, including painting and sculptures. Well, the music scene is booming in Tanzania, with bongo fever making wealth throughout East Africa. Our young, unknown painters and sculptures are still struggling to make their own mark. When we talk about at in Tanzania, the word comes immediately in my mind is Tinga Tinga. Tinga Tinga is everywhere. It is loud, it is bright, and it has a new and a very interesting history. Eduardo Saidi Tinga Tinga was a pioneer of popular contemporary art. Born in 1932 in the south of Tanzania, he later moved to Dar es Salaam in search of job opportunities. After independence, he found a job at Mimiri Hospital. It is said that one day Tinga Tinga just woke up and decided to start painting. Everyone thought he was crazy, but he continued and became Tanzania's most famous artist. He later quit his job at the hospital because his art was bringing more than enough money to support his family. Today, just a few collections of the original Edward Said Tinga Tinga paintings exist in the world. One of these collections is at the Swiss Embassy of Dar es Salaam. This is the only place that uh, they have a collection of original Edward Said Tinga Tinga paintings. And it's only recently, two years ago, that officially this collection has been passed to the Confederation Suisse. Uh, so it's officially now a property of the Swiss state. They were all painted, of course, the original were all painted on maçonnette, which is this uh, so-called ceiling board. And you can see on the back the original price that was paid for this painting, 35 Tanzanian shillings, which at the time might represent something like uh, maybe seven dollars or something like that. Now probably this painting is, is worth Nothing less than seven thousand dollars. The leopard has been sort of his trademark, and you can see this is typical of Tinga Tinga in the way that he always shows single animals walking from right to left, and then turning the head like towards the cameraman or the person, like saying, "Okay, what are you looking at, or who are you, or something." This is an antelope. Again, same. Same style, monochrome background, bright uh, yellow color. All these colors are, you know, ordinary normal uh, paintings. Signature very simple. Actually, his real name was Eduardi Saidi Tinga Tinga. Here in the Islamic families, Muslim families, they give the name of the grandfather, the father Saidi. And his name was Edward. So if he was here around, I would say, Edward this, Edward come here, or this and that, or let's talk. But then he signed in a European style, 
so putting the initials for the two first names. So now he's known under the Tinga Tinga name. And Tinga Tinga was his grandfather name. So he's known under his grandfather name. After the death of Edward Asaridi Tinga Tinga in 1972, a few artists continued his legacy and established their own personal Tinga Tinga style. One such artist is David Ibzuguno, who lives in Kongowe village, about 50 kilometers outside of Dar es Salaam. You know, I was born in the mountain forests, in the forests of the mountains. So there you can find huge trees. And very, I mean, very wonderful trees, different types. That's why I tried to copy from those ones. Even if today we, we, we go together to Kilimanjaro forests at the hills where there are a lot of streams, rivers, or high mountains, rocks, you can see similar plantation like those ones. So, uh, you are sort of uh, categorized as Tinga Tinga painter. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them. Uh, but you have a different history of uh, all the other Tinga Tinga painters. Because everybody has got his own hand, his own handwriting, I think. Mine were, are very different from theirs. Even if you call mine Tinga Tinga, they can't believe that this is the Tinga Tinga style. They would say that uh, this is a new creation out of Tinga Tinga. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, I'm, tell, I'm saying that it's uh, of Tinga Tinga style because it was my source there to create my own style.